Hello and welcome to the show. The chorus of sirens is here as we are on GTA 5 for another survive the hunt. Yes, my objective is simple. I must try and survive for 24 hours of game time while a team of 15 hunters are, well, trying to kill me. However, in this, well, this particular version of Survivor Hunt, we are going for a slightly different start. Basically, I am in a car park. I will leave the car park, and a very small group of hunters are aware of my location as I leave the car park. They will be chasing me. After five minutes, the remaining hunters will join in from the docks, and I'm going to have to then try and survive. I've got to try and survive for 24 hours, basically. Uh, we will go at uh, right about right about now. Sure, we'll go. By the time I get out of the car park, it'll be 22. It'll be 11. So... Yeah, we'll 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 set off with the hot ring. Now, I have realised that this has just coincidental time of day is at night, and I'm driving a hot ring saber that has no lights in in the night time, which does give me a slight sneaky advantage, unintentional sneaky advantage. But there we go. There is one car back there. I saw I just flick the lights on uh, as it is going to uh, to give chase. So. Uh, my, uh, my objective to survive, I must stay within the limits of the city, uh, so that this is a set vaguely sensible uh, playing area. Oh, that's a big bounce across some curbs. For me, we're going to run along the footpaths. Uh, yeah, we've got to stay within the within the city limits, but we can go just about anywhere we like in the city. I'm not allowed to simply camp somewhere. I've got to be on the move, although if I'm in a chase, I can do whatever the hell it takes for me to get away. There is, as far as weaponry goes, as far as shooting goes, some rules for the hunters and for me to follow. You are not allowed to shoot from a vehicle. You can only shoot when you are out of your car, and that also goes for me here. The hunters are limited uh, with their weaponry. They are only allowed single-shot pistols and fairly bogged down. You know, not allowed any automatic attack shotguns. You're not allowed any essentially submachine gun pistols. Um, so, you know, just for the sake of balance, while I am weapons free, uh, to an, I say to an extent, I'm not going to be using a minigun. I will probably be using a light machine gun and the like. Um... However, you know, I'm vastly outnumbered. We have to balance things like this to give me even a vague chance, should there be a shootout. Uh, now, the initial chase, last time I had a Devastate 8 that was a little bit too fast, really, for what we are having. The Hot Ring Sabre is a slightly more balanced vehicle in this regard. Uh, I'm not sure if there is someone still following me. This is the tricky part of a car chase. Here, This is the very tricky part of a car chase, in fact, because if I stop too soon and try and swap vehicles, I'll swap into a new car and they'll know exactly what I've done. If I run too long, I can drive into a ch hunter that's already lost me and restart a chase. So there's a very, very fine line between running far enough to make it safe to swap to a new car and running for too long. And there's no real easy uh, solution. I'm trying to find something to actually swap into at the moment and Christ, am I struggling. I would, if we could manage this, dump my car somewhere secluded, that would be nice. I don't really want a map of it. I want something half decently quick. Uh, I'm not actually as far up in the hills as I thought I was. A comet would be nice, but a comet gets you looked at. Um, we saw that last time where the hunters were basically checking everything. I desperately, I think I'd rather be on foot than have a photo. I don't really want a map of it. Uh, that, that will do. Lovely. It's nondescript. It's in a, it's, it's yeah, a nondescript but fast saloon car. Thank you. I know it's going to smack the window out. The alarm will go off for a minute. Uh, shush. 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 Be quiet, car. Be quiet, car. Be quiet, car. Be quiet, car. Be quiet. Shush. I think that's how you deal with a car, correct? Right. We are good. We are as good as it's going to get anyway for me here. And we shall set off into the hills, I think, successfully. Chase number one is over. Fairly fairly successfully navigated our way out of chase number one with the hot ring saber. They were caught a little bit napping as I dove out of the car park, which helps me out. Uh, they were, yeah, a little bit, a little bit caught napping. They followed for a good while. They followed for a good while, and I almost got myself in trouble in a couple of places. Uh, but we got away, and they don't have a clue. And I think I don't I don't think, let's phrase that correctly, I don't think they even had a rough idea where I went. I think I got far enough away that they haven't followed me. Previous time, we had an opening an opening chase while I abandoned the car. We were already almost immediately seeing hunters. And I don't think they know I went up to the hills. And this is a difficult area to cover. Um, you can find me if you get lucky. However, it is a difficult area in general to cover. We're going to end up... I've actually gone... 
this is kind of the very limit of my area in terms of uh, where I can be. Uh, this is the very, yeah, <laughs> the very, the very top of the, the city limits. I will have to turn left basically at the end of this, end of this road. Uh, as far, again, as far as the game mode, for those of you that may not have uh, seen a Survive the Hunt video before, as you can see on, on my screen, and it's the same for those hunting, there is no map. There is no name over players. So, while the Hot Ring Saber, of course, can't blend in, I will be trying my very best to blend in with the Jackal. Now, I did have to smack the glass out of the car, unfortunately, uh, which is a little bit of a shame. Uh, it's probably not going to be spotted. It, let's be honest here. In fact, I forgot to change my bloody clothes. I don't think I can do that while I'm in a car, can I? Um, can I do that while I'm in a car? No. Ah! That's an issue. I might be able to do something sneaky here. And now, if there's someone watching, I'll be in trouble. I'm gonna go on. I'm gonna go out on a limb and hope that no one's bloody watching. Um, because unfortunately, my suit and tie is a very big giveaway. While it is true that the chances of someone being able to, the chances of someone being able to spot me wearing like this, for example, or this is slim. You're unlikely to be able to spot this because you've got such ground to cover. While, yes, there are 15 of them, 14 of them, uh, giving chase, uh, trying to check every single NPC car, you can't do it. It's just it's just too much work. However, a glint of a red tie will make someone pay attention. Hell, this car sticking out of this driveway would make someone probably pay attention unless they were otherwise engaged. So... Anything that makes you stand out a little bit is dangerous. Weirdly, anything that makes you stand out a lot is probably quite safe, because the AI and dopey as anything can do a lot of weird things on their own. It's amazing, over the last few months of filming this, the amount of weird things the AI do makes it surprisingly difficult to try and pretend to be one, in some regards, because they just do stupid weird things. Which, I mean, it's not a criticism of the GTA AI. Do not get me wrong here, it's not a criticism of the GTA uh, AI, because well, humans do weird, stupid things, and it makes my life slightly easier, but also a bit scary in places. Sometimes, you know, a car you think might be a hunter is not. Just strange goings on occur. Um, but yeah, that's all, all fun and game. By now, the, well, the whole pack will be after me. The whole group of them will be in the city looking for me. Have I got the radio off? I haven't. And it's always a good thing to do. I normally try to make sure my character turns it off. Uh, I often forget about it though, because otherwise your character sometimes does a little dance behind the steering wheel. And again, while not immediately being a giveaway, because you might not always check, if someone does check, then it's fairly obvious. Uh, there is a crashed fusillade. Crashed fusillade with a dead NPC that hasn't despawned, which suggests a player may have been here quite recently. Unfortunately, I did not see where they went. Oh, that's a player. That's the speed of that car whizzing around. Is going to have to be a player. Um, there's a player missing a headlight. And there's a fuzz. Crashed into an NPC. I'm just going to sit at the red light and not doing anything bad. I am... Oh, that's... That's not a sight I wanted to see! Um... That is a player who has borrowed a armoured car, I think, over there. I do not want to have an argument with an armoured car. I'm going to vacate this area as calmly and sophisticatedly as one can in this particular instance. Incident. That one. I'm, scared. I'm really scared of that armoured car. That's a beast. I guess they might have gone and nicked it from the uh, police lot. Unlikely... I don't think they spawn in normally in online for any reason. Uh, do they for high enough wanted levels? I guess maybe. I don't. I don't actually play very much GTA Online. I play a lot of races on GTA, but I don't actually play very much of the uh, of the online. Certainly the free free roam stuff. So I don't know. Either way, they've got an armored police van. That's terrifying. There are rules, of course, regarding the vehicles that the chasers are allowed to use. Um, 
they're not allowed to use anything from the super category. And when it comes to sports cars, while well, they're allowed things like Sultans and uh, Futos and the Fusilades and so on, they're not allowed the high-end sports cars like the Comet, uh, the 9F, that's a sports car, I think. Um, so, yeah, there are limits on their vehicles and limits on the stuff that they can use. Again, it's to make sure that the chases are vaguely balanced and exciting, etc. There's definitely shenanigans going on behind me. It's almost like I don't want to look. I don't want to look. If I can't see it, it's not panicking me. But I should probably keep an eye out on it in case someone. Okay, someone's going to try to steal my car again. That has happened before. Um, yeah, in case for whatever reason I do something to give it away. I mean, this is actually not the best car for incognito sneaking at night. Uh, I've just realised the brake light is a little more obvious on this than I would have liked. Well, that's also not helping. Oh, they've scratched my car. Um, or potentially scratched my car. This is one of the funny things that uh, we have dealt with in the past. Um, is, oh, they are stealing a car beside me. I thought they might have seen me doing something dumb. They just got carjacked by an NPC. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not <laughs> That wins. That is the singular best moment of Survive the Hunt ever recorded, is we witnessed a hunter getting re by an NPC while I was just... I would have given myself away from laughing if they could hear. Uh, that we've got the busted window in the car and they would have heard me just wetting myself laughing at them getting carjacked. And they probably would have shot me. However... However, it's fine. Uh, the NPCs are angry. Oh, bugger. The NPCs are... The last few... The last few ones... Actually, I think... Because I, I can probably turn here, can't I? Uh, if I remember correctly. Because I think this is a lane... Oh, this is a lane that only goes this way. You know what? We'll go here. Screw it. Um, no one's around to witness much at the moment. That is a yellow something uh, that's... Definitely a player car that went past, I think. I say I think. I think I don't know whether there's a player car that just went onto the motorway because the hunters like to play little tricks. I say little tricks. The hunters like to uh, occasionally. They're not all going to be whizzing around at top speed, uh, trying to find me. Some of them will try and blend in a little bit more sneakily because of course they're all whizzing around at top speed. I get a fair warning. Ah, oh, they are working together by the looks of it. So this is a strategy we have seen them. Form. They kind of use it to good effect by the end of uh, Last Survive the Hunt, where they're kind of working pairs or threes. Uh, the idea being is that if they do spot you, if they're together, it's much easier to hunt you down. They cover less ground, but if they do spot you, they stand a much better chance. If it's one person on their own, it can be quite difficult to keep up with me in the initial phase of the chase, and I'll be long gone before they get reinforcements, essentially. And this looks like uh, we have got... A little bit of the old teamwork sessions going on. There's another one just whizzed past, which is why I'm going straight on here, rather than turning off. So yeah, it looks like they're going for the teamworking, or certainly some of them are going for a teamworking strategy. Solid plan, actually. Solid plan. We saw it to use to very good effect last time out. Um, I'm not surprised to see it happening again. It does potentially mean that we've got some peace and quiet here. For a while, anyway. How are we doing time-wise? It's 4 a.m., in the morning, we've got a lot of ground to... Sorry, a lot of time to go still. We've got, got a lot of ground to cover. We haven't we haven't got to cover <laughs> any sort, but... Uh, where am I going to head now? Do I go down towards the beach? Do I go down to... I mean, the airport's been safe in the past. I'm always dubious about the airfield, about the airport. While well, last time I drove around there and nobody was within a mile, I always feel like there's not much way out. And it's an easy... An easy place to tell people where I am. Like, if I'm around here, you kind of say Vespucci Beach, but it doesn't really mean much to anybody. The airport, everybody knows. Everybody knows exactly where that is. Everyone knows how to get to it. And you don't have much in the way of, well, there's only sort of three ways out. And you can block those off if if they're quick enough about it, if they happen to be in the right or Make it difficult, anyway, for me to leave. So I don't really like the airport, but oh well, we'll find out. We'll just head down here again. Um, it does seem to be quiet. And this is something that we saw a bit last time, which was quite funny. In general, when it's quiet, it's because a hunter's seen something suspicious and gone chasing after it. Uh, 
<laughs> in general, if it is quiet, a hunter's made a call, they've, they reckon they've seen me, everyone's bolted north or east or wherever it might be that that call is to, and, um, the hell is going on over there? Sorry, we interrupt the entertainment for a weird acting AI. No, I don't want to say weird acting AI. I'm curious. Let's go find out if it is an AI or whether... I mean, could it be a player? Sure, but I don't know why a player would be making it so obvious that it is a player if it is one. It seems like a weird action. I mean, the AIs do get angry at each other, sure. But it seems like a weird action for a AI to be taking and doing. And maybe AIs just cut each other up. And this is what I'm talking about. The AIs just do weird things. What the hell has happened here? I'm really, really confused. Why did everyone just suddenly freak out and run? I didn't even see any reason to be freaking out and running. We just have. That's so strange. What's going on? That Hummer just did a U-turn. There's a helicopter up in the air. Now, the hunters are allowed to use helicopters. The hunters are very much allowed to use helicopters, but only as scouts. They are not allowed to use helicopters to uh, shoot... Uh, they are not allowed to use helicopters like homing missiles from a helicopter to lock on to players or to search for players. Um, but they are allowed to use it as a scout and in pursuits they can be very useful. It's hard to shake a helicopter. Um, much easier to shake a car. Oh, that was a dumb thing with the reverse there, thankfully. Ah, that, that Hummer looked weird. It looked like it even had some sort of custom paint on it. Which immediately makes me suspicious, of course, but... Oh, maybe it just saw that big group of cars and was curious. I don't know. I really don't know on that front. And the not knowing is the worst bit. I think I'm actually a little bit too far back from the light. Ah, oh, we do have a big old scratch on the side of my car. There's another person just freaking out and running away. I wonder if it's because my car... Why would they be running if my car's damaged? That, I don't know. That, I think, is a player behind me. And I don't like that. Uh, I'm going to go through a red light here. I know I'm going through a red light, but... I need a new car. At night time, this was fine. In the daylight, it's less fine. Where can I ditch the car quietly? This is the the other issue I have with changing cars, is it's so easy to get seen. The amount of times we have had people get seen. I'm going to go to the airport. You know how I said the airport's normally quiet and risky? I think it's worth it here. Um, I'm going to go to the airport. Uh, I'm going to go to the car parks, because there's a lot of car parks around there. We can, we can head to and find a new vehicle. It's a shame. I liked this vehicle. This vehicle was good um, to me. I just want to have a little test with that Ricotto, whether that was... Uh, I, th I don't think it was because the way the... Like, when you looked back behind, like the way the render, the player, the character model and stuff, whatnot rendered in, looked like it was just... Well, it like it wasn't a player, let's be honest. Um, but yeah, I want to get rid of this car now. It's, it's, too, it's too battered. It's not worth keeping it anymore. The... I thought there was a ricotto behind. Don't we we learnt our lesson last time. Don't go for like a gold ricotto. That's silly. It's too obvious in terms of colours. Um I mean I guess I could technically repair my vehicle, but the, the danger you have with going to repair a vehicle, yes I could go and fix it up. However, uh if somebody sees it leave the garage, that will get you shot because, well, you know, it's only gonna be a player that's leaving a garage. So <laughs> Uh, yeah, there, there are inherent dangers with, with that one. Is there a nice car in there that I can pilfer? Uh, looks like there's like an Oracle or something. I might go for a little bit more undercovered car park. Like in here, for example. And plus, if all hell breaks loose, I can just dive down the subway. Ah, oh, there's a Sultan as well for me. Now that is a car that I desire. A Sultan is very much a car that I desire here. Um, cars for rental. Shh, a rental car here. Honest. No one followed me in, so that's good. Right. Do, do, do. I am not a bad person. I am just going to acquire a Sultan. Oh, piss off. The alarms. <laughs> shush, shush, shush. So we learnt... The reason why I am worrying about like a scratch on the side of the car 
we learnt last time out that in terms of damage, it shows up funny. Basically, it doesn't necessarily sync properly. So what might be a minor scratch on my screen can be a massive accident damage on someone else's screen. What might be massive accident damage on my screen might not show up on someone else's. Um, now, stealing from a car park is a little bit more secluded, which is why I'll go for the smashed window and hope that they don't notice. Again, the chances of somebody paying attention enough to notice a smashed window on a car, a little bit more in daylight than at night time, but still unlikely, shall we say, and it probably won't render on their on their end. Um, but yeah, you know, <laughs> well, when when we've had our car it certainly crashed into and you know scraped up, we know that there is a, a risk, so we'll go for a change. Also. I think that car was still spawning, but it's always... we learnt, Again, we learnt last time, it's always a good idea to change cars as we go through this. Uh, you kind of... Especially if it's a standing out colour. Silver cars, basically silver, black, uh, grey cars, all of those will probably blend in okay uh, most of the time. If you start having like a turquoise car or a gold car, it's going to get noticed. You might wonder why I'm not going in a truck. Uh, while it is very unlikely that a truck would be checked, because... Well, they know I'm not. They know I've never driven a truck before in one of these. Uh, they know it's very unlikely that I would. Uh, there is an issue in that if they do check a truck and you get involved in a chase, you are screwed. Basically, if if for whatever reason you give yourself away and you are in a truck, you are done for. You can't get away. If I get spotted in a Sultan, I stand a fighting chance. If I get spotted when I'm driving a Sultan, this is about as good as a car. Forget it. The the fastest vehicles they will have access to are Sultan and slower, basically. So I stand a good shout of getting away. Also, the other real difficulty with the trucks is they are limited to what area of the map they can drive around. And everybody knows that the trucks will only spawn in in certain parts. And if you wander outside of that area, that looks very suspicious. We'll probably get you checked. Now, I've I found out last time that they do go further than than I realised. However, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I'm technically still in the area they spawn. If it still looks a bit suspicious, someone's going to check. And then I've got a truck against a team of hunters with sports cars and supercars. Well, like sports cars and sedans and power or more powerful vehicles than me. And I don't want that. I am happy. Uh, ha much happier, much safer going with my Sultan here. Uh, I did spot a helicopter buzzing around inside the city. Uh, again, we've had another very safe trip to the airfield, which is unusual. Weird, freaky AI goings on. I, I, I would love to know what set that off. I would absolutely love to know what set that off, because something stupid went on, and we kind of... We're not, wouldn't say freaked out, but we kind of vacated the area in a decently ordered manner... Uh, to get away from whatever the hell was happening, and that's taken us to the airfield, or taken us to the airport, I should say, sorry. And here we are, waiting at another traffic light. Doesn't look like there are any hunters. There's not a big old robbery going on at the store again. <laughs> we haven't got the big old uh, store heist occurring that we saw last time. All manner of chaos went on over this part of the map. Here we go, that sort of turquoise colour car, that's a big old... Uh, just a car that will get looked at and remembered basically, is something that you've got to bear in mind. Whereas a, there's so many grey sultans around the place, I'm hoping it won't get looked at, won't be thought about. But you never know. Right. How are we doing time-wise? It's nine o'clock. We've had a good, a good run so far. A good run so far. No real major panics. I mean, entertainment in the form of carjackings just more weird AI goings on. Uh, thank you. Well, we did terribly with the challenge because we've driven less than a kilometre in the time that challenge was running. Uh, <laughs> we've been stuck at the tra traffic lights. Could you do something, please? That Hummer, that was the one we saw from earlier because that's the one that's got the spot on the door. Um, so that there's definitely a player with a Hummer around. I'm not actually very worried about a Hummer. They're not quick in the slightest, but it's just there's a sign of a hunter there. There is a hunter, you know, a hunter's vehicle hanging around the place. I'm not sure I wanted to be in this lane. Christ, I did not want to be in this lane. Don't really know where I'm going. Uh, I should have not, I shouldn't have done something stupid there. Never mind, we'll just go this way. I'll follow where the yogi went. We'll get into lane behind the yogi and we'll then follow the yogi some more. 
Come on, vote Yogi. Yep. Bloody hell. You are the worst driver. <laughs> How did you get a license? Well, I'm not following the Yogi anymore, it would seem. Man, there's a lot. I mean, if things go wrong, I'll just stand in that big crowd of people. I'm sure that'll be fine. I'm sure nothing will go wrong there. Uh, I where the Hummer went. Dunno. <laughs> this is the terrifying stage. It's all like. When you're in a chase, it's kind of fine. You know that there's going to be people around you constantly. It's this not knowing. It's this not knowing. That photo is a funny colour, but... I don't know why a hunter would be parked up there. If it is a hunter, yeah. Like, that seems like a very weird manoeuvre for someone to be giving chase. Can they be calling in other people if they think they know that it's me? Sure, but it's unlikely that um, they would... It's unlikely that they would sit in traffic and wait for that long. But... Just to be on the safe side, we're going to uh, go for some go for some turns, and if it continues to follow us, we might have to bolt a little bit. I could get a fire truck. I mean, it'd be a fun strategy, but it would lead to my death. Uh, <laughs> it would lead to. It would only work if I knew someone was in a fire truck on the hunter's team. Now, the whole blending in, pretending to be a hunter, does has worked once. It worked once on Forza. Because I knew exactly what they were driving, and I knew exactly how I could blend in with what they were driving. It did work once. Um, on here, I don't know what they're driving, so I can't blend in with it. So if I just tear around the city pretending I'm a hunter, they will... A, check if they see a car and they don't know what one it is, and that will it will get me killed, basically. Um, so well, that was a terrible bit of manoeuvring by me again. Probably just circulating around here. I don't really know if I... I don't know if I want to be here, but I don't know where I really do want to be. Here? There's a lot of alleyways that we can hide in if things go wrong. There's a lot of alleyways to hide in if things go wrong. There's a train line to play with. There's a lot of options, if needed. I need a new car again! Oh, what the hell is going on with this AI? It's all gone mad. Um, so, yeah, that's immediate car swapping. Where do I where do I get another good car? I'm actually in the wrong place to really find a good car. And now I'm going to do something stupid because I'm getting it. Well, I'll get impatient because I need to find somewhere to swap a car. Uh, I, no, I can just go and nick a car straight off the road. Like I can just grab someone out of a car and say, "Yoink, that's mine." Now I don't really like doing that for a couple of reasons. First of all, the animation takes a little bit of time, can lead to you being killed, uh, or can lead to be you being spotted because you never know when there's a hunter around. We've seen a carjacking going on already. Um, I, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, someone happened to be watching as I managed to steal someone else's car. It's just one of those dumb things that can happen. The percentage chance is small, but when we're working on, you know, very fine margins between living and being murdered in this one, I kind of don't want to risk anything. But I have to swap a car. What I have seen is a car that I'd like back there. Um, I can't. I want that black Sultan, really, but what can I? Ah, uh, wait. The next set of lights. I might, I might have to go for the risky manoeuvre here. Uh, the next set of lights. Look, I'm just going to swap the cars. You can have the black. Look, it's a Sultan. It's got a minor ding. It's got a minor ding on the bumper. I'm sorry, friend. Uh, but I do need the car, and I can't afford to prat around in case you try and carjack it back. Um, sorry about that. Little inconsiderate of me, I'm aware. Uh, but it was necessary because I don't know what damage that did to my car, or what damage it would do, what damage would show to other people. Oh, we find ourselves up by the oil fields again. We found ourselves at the edge of our area um, quite quite nicely here. That fusillade looks. I mean, I don't know whether those windows are more tinted than normal. Uh, so let's go and find out if it is going to follow me onto the motorway. Uh, nope. It did, that was definitely 100% a player car. I noticed the wing on the back of it. That's not an AI vehicle. Uh, did it have any suspicions of me? If it did, I don't think it would let me get on the motorway because it's very difficult to track a car on here. Uh, unless you've got a helicopter, which there isn't one around. Uh, that was a very close call. So... There we go. That is the reason why I really, really don't like changing cars out in the open. We got lucky with that one. We got very lucky with that one. I got a little bit slow there. Um, 
We got very lucky with that one because the, fus the fuselade was far enough back that it didn't notice. I should see what that Futo did if I went on the brakes because it was it caught up to us quite rapidly. Um, I think it is just an angry AI. Um, a f well, it would have been, what, a second or two difference in my timing there could have got me spotted. And if I'd done it completely wrong, they could have got out of the car and shot my shot either me to bits or shot out the tyre on my car before... Um, there's a weird thing going on over there. I don't want to test that. I think it's just an AI doing dumb stuff, but I'd rather not. Oh, I'm not... Well, no, I am allowed to go down this bit, but this is the very, very edge of my area again. Uh, that's fine, because we'll come off by the casino, by the race course bit. And that will be fine. Um, so, yeah, changing cars. Stupid, dangerous risks. Stupid, stupid, dangerous risks. But we've survived another one. Please no more AI's weirdness. Just stop it. Just stop with the AI weirdness and I'll be happy. Okay? I think that blue colour photo is more common than I realised. Like, it looks like a special colour or something, but I think it is a more common colour. It is like it's an AI colour. It's a nice colour, don't get me wrong. I like the colour on the uh, on the photo. Christ, I'm paranoid of every bloody fusillade now. And there's enough of them around the place that... Uh, there's enough of them to scare the crap out of me constantly. That one is not blacked out like the other one was. I'm pretty sure that he's just an AI, but, you know, still enough to make you a little nervous. Well, you've just gone off the motorway and then back on the motorway. I'm not going to question. In fact, so have you. Weird AI. Oh, I say weird AIs. What's the point of me saying weird AIs? This, oh, this whole video so far has been AIs are weird. Uh, well, you know what? I think we all came to a stop, and I don't know which quite has right of way. Uh, either way, we've negotiated our way around that one. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. We've done the important shenanigans, and there wasn't anybody to witness the weirdness. And if there were, they probably wouldn't have known, because the AI are weird. Uh, <laughs> just keep saying it, and that is the mantra of Survive the Hunt. But, oh well. What's that? That's just an AI carrying speed. Like, I'm so used to just cruising around in traffic that when I start seeing a car, the hell is going on there? Again, AI are weird! And it's just like alarms are screaming everywhere that something funky's going on, but it's... Well, it is, but it's just... No, it's normal unnatural behaviour rather than unnatural, unnatural... You know what I mean. Uh, I haven't seen any hunters for a little while after that fusillade. We actually doing a pretty good job of. Oh, did I actually turn? Oh, the radio was off in this car. So I don't need. I don't need me dancing away behind the wheel to be what gets me killed. That would be a very embarrassing. Of all the dumb ways to go, that is one of the premium tippy top dumb ways to get killed. What is going on at this junction? Christ! I swear they've got less predictable as as the game has gone on. Time wise, time check. We're doing good. We are... Well, it's looking promising. However, we are now heading back. Uh, I don't know if I'm safer or not inside the city. I feel like... Oh, why are we stopped? Why are we stopped there? Yeah, I can't decide whether the, ci the city... There are likely to be more of them searching the city. That's generally how it goes. However, there are also more alleyways to hide in around the city. There are more bits and... Sneaky areas you can park a car, you can try and flee should you get spotted. Uh, whereas some of the other areas I've been driving, they're kind of one road around a lot of it, and if you do get spotted, you're a little bit stuck. Is that that Hummer? That is, yeah, okay, so that is typical. We've found the Hummer again uh, driving around. Yeah, so that is the camoed Hummer uh, that might have recognised me. It might be possible that that camo hummer has recognised me. Now, I'm allowed to go this way. If that follows me up here, we might have some trouble. It didn't. Okay, plan. I am going to get out of this way pretty bloody quick. Um... I don't know whether that saw something it didn't like, or whether there was a call. Like, it's one of those dumb things. Did it see something it didn't like, and went to investigate? Or was there a call from players elsewhere in the city saying they've seen something weird? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that was. That's freaky. 
Oh, it's freaky. And it's also really weird that we've just kept running into a Hummer in different parts of the bloody city. I think that is the only... We've seen the Hummer, we've seen the Fusillade, and I've seen a couple of cars from distance. We saw the carjacking, but we saw a couple of cars from distance, but well, that's kind of it. It's weird, but that's just the way it goes sometimes, as you're all cruising around the city looking for uh, for cars. And there's another black Fusillade, but not blacked out. Not got the wing on the back. Or maybe it didn't have a wing. Maybe it's just a normal wing. I don't know anymore. Might have been worrying about nothing. Oh, what the hell is going on with the tra- <laughs> I think I'm more- I think it's more dangerous just being in traffic at the moment. Christ, he's just freaking out constantly. There's a police pre! Police pre! We saw something different. Oh. <laughs> it's so tempting to go and nick the Hummer. That is a player car. That's got a wing on the back of it. That's definitely got a wing on the back of it that you would not normally see. Um, and it's gone through a red light. So we have got a car following us here. Now, I've got to be very, very careful. If I choose to bolt, I have got to make sure... Oh, it wasn't following us. It turned off. Jeez. I'm not liking it. I want to get out of this part of the city. I liked the other parts of the map that were quiet. Uh, what I was about to say before we got safe, which is weird, but um, I have to be very, very careful. If I bolt too soon, for example there, once I thought that car was following me, it would be tempting. It takes everything in me to not immediately flee. I want to immediately flee. However, I can't. If I do, of course, they immediately know that it is me. However, if I leave it too long before running, they can either call... Ah, uh, I think they might... I think they might know it's me, and I think they're trying to work together. I can see a Hummer and a Fusillade are working together. Well, they, they stopped a way back. Now, either they're trying to get people over here, or I, mm, I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this. If I can get a couple of corners on them, because they are a long way back, if I can get a couple of corners on them, they would have a tough time following me up to the hills. Uh, that might mean, though, that the Black Sultan is a little bit burnt here. Um, the problem is, I don't know. I genuinely don't know whether they just happen to be in the area. This is not the bit of the hills that I wanted it to be in. Christ, this is not the sort of road that I was. I wanted to get into the more densely populated part of the hills. Um... Yeah, I wanted to get up this way, kind of, but... Oh, no, no, if I want to go back on myself, though. This is dangerous. Um, I have a plan, but it's a risky one, as more of my bloody plans have been so far. Stop. Okay, I don't think I need to bolt any more. We've certainly lost a tail if they were following me. If they were trying to do a clever manoeuvre there of hanging back and trying to call in reinforcements, it has failed a little bit. They'll, they'll, they'll have lost me, I should think. I'd be very surprised if they hadn't. Uh, in all that. But, I might have just ran for no reason. I, I don't know. I really am struggling to get out of this top part of the map. They've kind of corralled me up here without realising, I think without realising at least. Uh, we have two options, left or right here. I think left. I think left is my better bet um, here because it gets me further away rather than looping back around to the cinema area again. I don't think I want to go that way again. And, Equally, we're at the out, very outer limits. I think we're even higher than we were last time around, so we, we probably shouldn't... Well, no, I say we shouldn't be. This is, you know, the very tippy-top of the area that I can go in. Uh, it's, to be fair, it's very easy to forget quite where those hills, roads lead us out to. But this will spit us back into the part of the city. Uh, bugger, what is that behind us? Is it just from a distance, an FQ? I think it's just an F FQ620 from a distance. Looks like it's blacked out, uh, but... I don't know whether it's better or worse them driving cars that I recognise or not. Like, driving the blacked out vehicles. Um, they are, they're allowed to drive, so... Actually, the reason why we generally... Well, say generally, why they do drive personal vehicles is much... Get much less police interference when they've got them. Uh, so, yeah, they do sometimes drive them, which are lightly modified... Which is why you see, you know, the blacked out cars and whatnot. They're not performance enhanced, but visually, you know, if you want to tint the windows and so on, have funny coloured headlights, go for it. Um, and I don't know whether it's scarier having those vehicles around that you see and you know to be terrified of, 
Or, whoa, what was that? That was AI nonsense and a half right there. Still an F620 behind me, but I don't know whether it's just spawning in traffic. It's got to be. Plus, if it wasn't, why would they be waiting their time around here? You know, if it wasn't a, if it wasn't an AI traffic car, they would be going to they would be coming to investigate us properly. Here, I don't think you'd be sat biding your time to see what happened. You haven't got the time anymore. I'm not actually that far away from I say not that far away from winning it uh, with a Sultan. Provided I don't get lamp posted again, I think you'd actually struggle to stop this car quickly. It is a very fast vehicle. Um, so if they don't get me cornered, if I have a couple of hours to go, I could I could probably run for a couple of hours uh, with a Sultan, barring unlikely weird physics collisions, I could probably run for a couple of hours. Uh, but unlikely weird physics collisions are GTA's thing. Really, this is going really really slowly. Uh, I'm gonna get past you. I don't think there's anyone again. You know the. F620 wouldn't let me. I'm going to go... Uh, the reason I want to get past it a little bit quickly is... Yes, I could hang around out this part of the map, but it is the very, very... <laughs> that, that's kind of pushing my boundaries a lot on that one. That was a turn around and get back to your area. I didn't quite realise that road took us as far around as it did. Uh, so, yeah, I probably shouldn't... I won't go on that road again, shall we say. I've learned for future Survive the Hunt. It has helped me out here. Do I want to ditch the Sultan? This is the question. Can they search every Black Sultan in the city? Unlikely. Will they search a Black Sultan? Might it be my... I don't know whether they know it was me. This is the this is worse than a chase. I'd rather a chase because it's clear cut. I think I've said that already so far. I'd rather a chase because it's clear cut. We've got four hours to go here. Um, whereas that, I don't know what it was. I don't think they knew. I don't think they knew, because if they did, they surely wouldn't let me get that far away. That far away is such a risk to them, of me doing what I did, that I don't think you could risk that. I think that's too far a distance. I think I just got spooked. And we got... Uh, there's that bloody Hummer again. I think we just got spooked for no, no reason... Um, although apparently a good bloody reason, because it keeps popping up. Christ. I don't know whether one of the Sultans was with it or not, or whether that was just an AI car. I think it might have just been an AI car, you know? Oh, now I'm in a bad place. Oh. I'm not risking that. I think they were getting out to. Ch I think they were getting out to borrow my car, uh, but I am certainly not risking that. Thankfully, in such the kerfuffle that that was, yeah, I think they just wanted my car. I, th I mean, again, they would have got out guns blazing. I learnt last time. You do not take risks with that. You do not take risks if they are going to swap the car. I'd want to get as big a run on them as I can. Now I'm in a bad place. I am in a bad place because. We have got... Oh, there's a car on the motorway. It's just smacked into the wall. There's a helicopter. I spot a helicopter up above. This is bad news. This is really bad news. I think I've got stymied again because somebody just wanted my bloody car. Um, the helicopter will give me grief. Do I go subway tunnels? I am allowed to go subway tunnels. They're going to have trouble catching up to me. That's not going to have trouble catching up to me. That was ready. Okay, they, 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 they know I can't do the subway tunnel. That car's too close to go for the subway tunnels. Now, do I just go for the flee for the remaining... I said I could do two hours. I bet I could. I don't think I can do three and a half. It is only a police pre. I've just watched one of them wipe out an AI car over there. So I'm not going to take that turning. Uh, yeah, I, I could probably do two hours of a chase. But that, that's that means four minutes. It's four minutes of flat out driving, not making a mistake. And in GTA, we've seen what the AI are like at the best of times. But I've now got to do a lot more than that of flat-out driving. No mistakes. And I don't even know how many cars are onto me uh, at this point. That's that bloody armoured... <laughs> that camo Hummer has been the bane of this. There's always one. There's always one vehicle. Like it was a G-Wagon in one of the hunts we've done. Uh, this time it is a Hummer. The only good news... Oh, there's a Sultan as well. I think that's that blacked out Sultan. Uh, it was flashing its lights behind me. Um, yeah, we've had G-Wagons before in these and yeah. Oh, I'm hoping my brakes are good for that. 
Uh, this, oh, it just made the turn. I was hoping I could get the... Uh, that was a brave manoeuvre. It could be been amazing if that fusillade had shot off, you know, not been able to make that turn. I could have really stolen a march on a lot of them. Uh, as it was, not quite. Uh, we're going to try... Uh, I need to get into a better... Get rid of the lights, uh, just in case... There is uh, any chance of it helping here. Uh, we've got to get up into some area with some corners. Now, I am using the Sultan so fast in a straight line compared to what I'm being chased by. I can use the Sultan straight line speed here. Uh, normally, I would go for lots of weaving in and out of alleyways. However, the Sultan's so damn fast, I have for once got a straight line speed advantage. So I'm going to bloody well use it. Uh, we're going to play in the hills again. I don't want to play in the hills. That's killed us before. I don't feel like it's a good idea to play around in the hills here. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> well, a bit of excrement came out there. In fact, a lot more than a bit came out there. I've lightened my car significantly. I lightened myself significantly. Um, I thought we were going to have a really big crash. Flying around over the hills is super dangerous. And I don't know if I've shaken them or not. Uh, nope. That was one of them. I think. This is the, Now, this is the other hard part of being in a chase, is at what point do you quit? At what point do I say I am no longer being chased? Because I'm pretty sure that was a fusillade. I think it was a fusillade with a wing, but I don't know because I couldn't check because I'm flat out here. Have we lost them, do we think? It's a big gamble to get out of the car now. It is such a gamble to get out of the car now. If I don't get out of the car, I'll just I'll, I'll eventually run into another one and the chase will begin again. If I do get out of the car, I might be able to go back to sneaking. I have an idea. I don't know if it's a good one, but I have one. Let's go for it. Um, I'm going to somewhere where I know I will find cars. I'm going to somewhere where I know I will find cars and I hope to God I can find something quick uh, in here. You know what? Dumb idea. Might save my life. Come here. I want the comet. If I'm going to be in a chase, Christ, give me a comet. Uh, uh, that that was a player there that just completely and utterly paid no attention. Just drove up onto the motorway. Hold on. I've got to try and do something silly here. Go away. Phone. Lights. Lights. No. Everything off. Off. Stay. Nope. Uh, I don't know whether they'd see me or not initially. We've got to go. We've got to go. They're trying to send up flares, I think, to symbolise where the hell I am. Somebody was out on foot and shooting. Well, now I've got a very quick car. Okay, I I shouldn't have pratted around. I was trying to get Lester on the phone because I don't want to deal with the police. Yeah, don't phone and be in a car chase. Christ, it's a dumb idea. Uh, I don't think they got a tyre, amazingly, in all of that. Yes, get rid of the wanted level. Uh... No, I don't think they got a tyre in that chase. Amazingly, $5,000 bounty. I don't care. I also don't care because we've got half an hour to go. Why have I gone down here? This was a dumb place. I was busy looking at my phone. Um, this is a very dumb place. Better idea. Better idea. Uh, this is this is silly now, but I can outdrag all of them. I've got a comet. <laughs> when you have a last ditch... Last ditch car, find a supercar, sports car in this case, but it's faster than anything they've got. Let's try to use the tarmac because it's a little bit quicker than being on the sand. There is, I don't think, anybody around. I don't think they've got anybody out here, you know. Oh, that's bad. Uh, if anybody did hang around by the pier, might have seen that one. I don't think they have, though. Oh, that got really sketchy. That's, it's still not safe. I'm going to go as far as to say this is still nowhere near safe, uh, which is why I'm not slowing down. What is the time? I think, folks, we have done it. We have survived the hunt. <laughs> oh, Christ. It was not without a terrifying moments at the end. We worked bloody hard for that one. We worked bloody hard. For that one. There are bullet holes in the car. If one of them had got a wheel, I could have been in trouble. Thankfully, none of them did. Uh, I don't actually think anyone is actually all that close at the moment. I think we might have survived the hunt, and even more impressively, survived the hunt incognito. 
almost. If we can get out of this car park, get onto the motorway. I say incognito, we didn't do the whole thing incognito. That much is for sure. However, we did it. We bloody did it. <laughs> oh, that was terrifying at the end. That was absolutely terrifying at the end. We had to work very, very hard. There is somebody. It's too late for them now. It's too late for them now. We have made the time. There's the chopper spinning around. The chopper just couldn't keep following the cars at night uh, well enough. We're into the tunnel. We're away. We will get out of Los Santos with no... I say with no problems. I mean with a, f a bloody close call. I liked the flare idea. The flare idea was pretty solid. Um, but they well, they knew where I was. You know, they, they knew exactly where I was by the end of that, but they could not deal with me quick enough. The Sultan and the Comet were too fast. That is a player in a fusillade. It will not matter one bit if they know who I am, because we have done it. We have got away from them. They can run up the motorway all they like. It's too late! It's too late. There's three of them as they try. Yeah, because they, they know I'm gone now. They know I'm not... Oh, please explode. That would have been a glorious ending. They know that I am not at the beach anymore, and they don't know which way I went. So everyone's spreading out, trying desperately to find me, while I cruise along the motorway. We've done it, folks. Survive the Hunt has been completed. We are away. We have won a round legitimately, fairly and squarely. We got chased a few times. We had to panic. Good car choice this time around. Good sneaking choice. I think I picked the right moments to bolt. I could have maybe swapped the Black Sultan out. Uh, probably would have been a good idea, although I think, regardless, I, it was the car jacking that was the problem. Um, I could have perhaps been a little bit better with the Comet. I, was, I thought they had missed me, uh, but they hadn't. And I played that quite risky, quite silly. However, we have done it. We have survived the hunt. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time... A goodbye.